Welcome back. This is episode 147 of NoobTube, weekly independent podcast where Yuzo and I are playing some Sims 3. So he and I built some houses in the same town, and he's showing me around a little bit. Now, check it out, man. Would you like to check out my house? Got my wife in there. She's a hot ex-model interior designer. And uh, let's see. Here's my backyard with my swimming pool. And I uh, got over here. Boring. All right. Here's my guy. Let him in. No, that That's your guy? Yeah. Uh, I guess he can come in. Um, dude, is he is he drunk? What? It's 9 a.m. What the hell did you set his traits to? Dude, I set all of his traits to awesome. Look, he's pissing in your little swimming pool. God damn it, you ruined everything. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> You're really not going to like what he's doing to your little wife right there. No! <laughs> damn you! I am Yuzo Watanabe. And I'm Tobin Kozire, and this week we are talking about Sims 3 Prototype. Prototype. Uncharted 2 multiplayer demo, uh, Velvet Assassin, and Battleforge. Battleforge, yes, and our new releases include Overlord 2, Overlord Dark Legend, Overlord Minions, and Overlord Overload. <laughs> Oh, enough already. Anyhow, uh, we also have the Conduit, Monster Hunter Freedom Unite, uh, and Transformers, Revenge of the Fallen, Decepticons, and Autobots. Um, Cash in. More than meets the eye. Yes. Uh, let's go to our weird prototype. Prototype. <laughs> All right. Mm. Ah, prototype. So this is the big game that everybody's like, dude, I don't know about it. Like, it's mostly the X-Bots, right? Right. They're all like, okay, no, like, fuck Infamous because it's PS3 exclusive. It's all about prototype, even though prototype is both on the PS3 and the 360. That's the weird thing is, like, you know, it's, it's not an exclusive. So that the, I yeah. don't know why everyone's like, fuck prototype, it's fuck Infamous. It's like, if you got a PS3, you can play both. That's true. You know? But yeah. if you only have a 360, you could only play prototype. And that's why I think, yeah. right, they're like, no, 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 d- ignore that exclusive that's on the enemy platform, right? right? But so. it's just so funny because they're like, they're like, fuck you, Sony, prototype's awesome. They're like, yeah, we're playing that too. Like, <laughs> Fine. I don't, whatever. So, you know, we've, we've said many times on YouTube, haters, we have no space for you at no. NoobTube. NoobTube Orphan is all about, boys. no, no, we want to find a good game. We don't care what platform it's on. Stop with the fucking fanboyism. It's boring. Yes, and we actually like the fact that there are multiple platforms because you have competition, yep. you have all this stuff. If there was only one console, yeah. uh, it would be a mu- it, we would basically be talking about four games a year probably. Exactly. Like good games. Everything yeah. else and would they'd be all like be crap. like E.T. on the <laughs> Atari. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. That would be uh, ridiculous. But so prototype. prototype. So Prototype is basically <sighs> the uh, same plot as Infamous. So Pretty much. You know, you're, you're a dude. Um, it, it, in the other case... There was a kind of this mysterious story where you had carried some sort of sphere to the city center, in and infamous, then it, right? in infamous, and yep. it exploded, killed everybody, yeah. uh, and then infected a bunch of other people, and you've got some power. So this one, you wake up in a morgue, and Cause you were dead because you were dead, yeah. and now you've got crazy fucking powers. And the powers are weird too because they're almost like genetic based. So all of yeah. a sudden you have normal hands, and then they turn into these huge ass. Like gen- like like fleshy claws, yeah. And every everything's based off that. So all of a sudden, like, okay, okay, I can just you know shoot some shit. I can fly because I have special genetic power. I, I don't even yeah. know why, but I mean, they basically have a have a catch all reason to say you can do all sorts of shits because you can shape change. So. Right, and also, yeah, and you you can absorb the essence yes. of other people. So you're kind of going around. You can use people as disguises. Mm-hmm. You can suck in their powers and use them against other people. Mm-hmm. Uh, so and there are a lot of powers. I mean, when you first start out the game, yeah. And this is weird because I the thing is I. I don't know if I like this mechanic so much. I've seen other games where, okay, you start out the game and you have everything you're going to have by the end of the game. You know what I mean? They're like, okay, I think maybe God of War did it. There's a few other games where, like, all of a sudden you have all these amazing yeah. powers. And but then, you have to unlock them all, though. Like, well, no, no, to... but that's the, that's the trick, right? They, yeah. like, show you, like, oh, here's how powerful you'll be in, the, in, in a few years or something uh... like that, right? And then all of a sudden, with, at least with Prototype, they're like, oh, two weeks earlier. Mm. And then you have nothing. You have yeah. no powers whatsoever. And okay, it's just like... Yeah. I don't know if I like it mm. because, like, the whole point of getting the powers, like, you know, with Metroid and all these other ones, it's just like you get to learn how to use them. Yeah. And I felt it was just like the overload. They've, they've yeah. even been doing that for years in RPGs. Like, a lot of times mm-hmm. in RPG, the first level is like yes. your ultra mecha super badass, and then it's just like. He's like you're summoning a dude and it's damage nine 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 nine. Yeah, and then they'll oh, be like, "All right, well, now you're a child being born in this village." Isn't like you know, one of the Final Fantasies or something like that where you play like Sephiroth? Them. Yeah, and then and then eventually, yeah. I mean, yeah, so. so a lot of games really like to do that. They give you little cocktees 
and then they take it all away. And I don't like it because because I, I, I would much rather grow, be surprised by all these powers. Yeah. And not, and basically when they when you go through the thing in in, in prototype, you you don't really get taught on how to use most half of the shit. Mm. It's just like push this button, kill a bunch of guys. You're like, wow, that looks kind of cool. Yeah. I didn't really feel like good doing it. You know what I mean? Hmm. I didn't feel like I earned it. I didn't feel like I. Well, but I mean, and you, it was kind of long. You bought them the way you buy stuff in like God of War, right? I mean, it's just eventually, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I mean, yeah. I guess I guess I don't mind it too much because I think what it's doing is it's priming your brain. Mm-hmm. Whereas otherwise, if you're playing a game, they've got some new weird mechanics where you can turn your hands into fucking steam shovels and do whatever. Sure. It's you know maybe maybe it kind of helps your brain realize what it's heading towards. Hmm. You know okay. I don't know. I mean I I can see kind of why they do it, but I sometimes it pisses me off too because yeah, I'm yeah. like, come on, just like you know just like eke it out. Give me don't give me the whole load immediately and then take it away and then yeah. feed it. You know brain feed it. So that was a little annoying to me. But some of the powers are sick. Like running through the city and running up buildings you and like running. That? Oh, I loved it. See, that's I that's the it. thing that for me, because like I'm coming from playing Infamous, right? Yeah. Where all of a sudden you're flying, you're sticking to everything, and there's actually some skill involved with you know trying to land on the thing. But with mm. with this game, it's just like it's almost like the world is flat, mm. except when you run. The moment you hit a building, you run up it. Yeah. And you jump, and you, it's just like <clears throat> it didn't seem that hard to do. Well, that yeah, that, that that they definitely said that that wasn't the skill part, right? Like no, in the infamous, you're trying to find your way around the city. In yeah. this one, it was just like, you know, the fighting is supposed to be more difficult, and the fighting and the and the sneaking is definitely supposed to be more di- yeah. like. It was it was gratifying to to mm-hmm. do. I wouldn't say that it was rewarding. Mm, you know interesting. what I mean? Like yeah, yeah. running down the street, fucking jumping from taxi to taxi, and then running up the side of a building and like jumping off. Coasting and going to fly and flying through the city. I, really I mean, like, like oh, I was loving it. See, that's the that's the thing. Like, my biggest complaint about this game is the controls felt so janky. Hmm. Like, I was going like, okay, yeah, fine, I can run up buildings, but there was no sense of control. There's no sense of that fine tuned, hmm. platformy element, right? It's just like jump, jump, you know, jumping on top of a cap. Sometimes you land, sometimes you don't. There was no real benefit. And then when you actually started to need skill with a lot of the uh, air changing abilities that you have, the flying abilities, especially during races, yeah. That to me was like the control was almost like too difficult. So it was like part of it was either too easy or part of it was too difficult. Where mm. you know I'd be running, I see a thing, and I and I hit a button meaning to fly, but sometimes I hit the button to to do the air move, and I'd fall off the building. Mm. You know, I do I mean, that constantly. But so so what is it about this game that didn't make you want to practice that like you do in most things? Like you know, a lot because of times it felt sloppy. So you didn't like, you just didn't like the way they laid out the controls. No, the controls were were like felt weird to me, and and basically the combat was like spazzy. I didn't mm. feel like when I hit something, I connected, I did something. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I, I definitely I definitely feel that about the combat. Like mm-hmm. I I um the combat the only combat that felt good to me is I actually really enjoyed the picking up heavy shit and tossing it at stuff. Mm, okay. Like picking up enemies and tossing yeah. them at each other. But when it just came down to just just getting into just a fight and punching, yeah, it, yeah. that definitely like I, I agree with you that that felt like mm. it was mushy. Gotcha, gotcha. It wasn't and and the city I mean the only thing that I found fun was Getting new powers and kind of going around and doing the races or whatever. The races but were cool. Looking at the city, I thought was really generic. Like, like, like you said, coming city. from, but coming from Infamous, <laughs> yeah, where the detail and like just the the city felt alive and the people felt real. Yeah. And this one, the people just looked like they just kind of like cloned a thousand dudes yeah. and they're all just kind of like walking around like cows. And yeah. the city was just kind of boring. So I mean, and, and they try to follow. I, I definitely can tell they try to model New York City as much as they can. But you take a game like that and then you look at GTA Four. Mm-hmm. It's just no contest whatsoever, yeah. right? It's like I'm sitting in Times Square. I feel like I'm. Times Square. Yeah, I'm in Central Park over there. I was just like, uh, I feel like I'm playing Spider Man. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Um, so, th- so there's like those those elements. But you know what really killed the game for me? What's up? Loading. Mm. So many things of any time when you know, like you fail a mission, you restart a mission, any of this stuff, or, or basically, and it wasn't just loading; it was also the uh, cutscenes. Yeah. Basically, they interrupted the 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 flow of the game almost every two or three minutes to hmm. me. So it's like I, I do a start a mission and then I talk to somebody and I'm like I, I want to play hmm. and then you do this and you reload you start the mission and then just kind of starts the beginning again yeah. it's like a loading screen it's just like load load talk talk but with Infamous it just flowed yeah you know it's just like oh right over here go here talk to somebody immediately the mission starts mm. you know it's just yeah. like I just felt like constantly interrupted so so part of the I actually kind of liked the, uh, huh. the the going around and finding dudes where you would unlock more story mm-hmm. stuff like yeah. you know I didn't mind running around and you'd see a little red icon on the map be like oh shit I'm going to yeah. get that guy and you go over suck his brain out get some more plot yeah. like I but mean, then you had to like read it and it was just like sitting there <laughs> 
But it, I, I enjoyed the plot, though. Like, I actually really? thought it was fun to watch those things. Because to yeah. me, it's just like the plot was like, you know, this cookie cutter. It's just like, yeah, whatever. Mm. There's random stuff going on. But <clears throat> the, the annoying thing is I'm so used to these other games like Bioshock and all these other ones, which, which tell you the story by having audio play while you're still doing shit. Mm. You know, even like all these things where you have like somebody talking to you. Or something right. like that. You don't have to stop and read or stop and watch. It just mm. feels too it, it, 2005 it's, to it's me. More, it's more melded into the... Yeah. That's true. Yeah, I, mean, um, I guess... I guess I'm trying to think of in, in Infamous, for example. I mean, since the head-to-head is, is inevitable. You got I mean, to. I mean, really. I guess, like, sometimes you'd be standing there and your buddy would be doing exposition, like when you're standing up on the top yeah. of that rooftop. But, I mean, I guess you could walk around, but, I mean, you still had to just stand there and listen to him talk. But the fact that I could walk around and charge his batteries, you know, mm. or whatever, dude, just Instead do whatever. of just having to sit and, and hit the, the radar movie. button a couple of times to <laughs> see if I forgot anything. I mean, yeah. seriously, right? It's, yeah. it, it's that. It's the fact that I have to sit and watch, especially when you, like, you, you, you do meld with somebody. Mm. It's pretty much the same animation over and over again, right? Well, more or less. The, the animation, but, I mean, then they play different movies every time. I mean, like, the whole point is you're sure. unfolding a whole story about... You're trying to figure out the background of why you've become irradiated. Mm. You but know, it, so it's, it's the like, cutscene of when you're, you're you're grabbing them and doing it. It's just like, well, why do you have to make it into a cutscene which I have no control over, mm. as opposed to just have it happen and then show the cutscene or something like yeah. that? Anyhow, I mean, these these are maybe these are like nits, but for me, it's just like you take all of these elements. It's just like these are all all together. It really makes the game not fun to me. Yeah, I mean, I, it, it mm-hmm. seems like you had like this immediate visceral anti-reaction yeah. to the and game. It was because... the tutorial too, the, the the beginning. That like was like, oh, what is oh, this control suck? It's oh, just like, funny. oh, and yeah. then after, right after that, I'm like, uh, okay, running a building, yeah, and like do this over again. It's like, and then and then I'm like, oh wow, race. Yeah, the races. And then, I thought that was fun. Yeah, well, I know, but then I like <laughs> then I, like like the third time I used the air move, you know, the and wrong way. And fell. Yeah, I'm just yeah. like, this is stupid because it's not my fault. I don't think yeah. it's my fault. I don't, feel, I don't feel like somebody it's my else fault. is pushing those fucking <laughs> buttons. It's true. <laughs> it's true. It's true. So, I mean, for, for me, I was playing through and I was just basically like, all right, this is a single or double A game instead of a triple A game. Mm. But I, I was just like, for a rental, you know, I was just running around throwing cars at shit. Mm. Like, you know, if, if I'm going to match it up against Infamous, Infamous is a far, far superior game. Infamous, I say buy it. Yes. It's worth it. The hours and hours of yes. fun you'll get out of it. But I mean, I, I I certainly saw the nits that you were talking about, mm-hmm. but it didn't make me hate the game. I still I still I'm still playing it actually. And you'll like, probably play it more, but yeah. a little bit more, right? A little bit. I mean, you know, we'll we'll see how how long it takes for me to get irritated. But I mean, so far nothing's really like pushed me away from it. I just wow. I'm like, oh, that's not as good as this other game. Oh, that's not as good as this other game. Yeah. Like, but how, did it, it you never play made it? me angry. I'm just curious. Did you play it like right after you played Infamous, or was there it was a, like a chunk week, of time? A week see, after it was. Yeah, I had played Infamous the night before, <laughs> and I'm playing. I'm like, uh, this isn't as good. This really isn't as good and it's mm-hmm. one of those things where you eat this amazing chocolate and then you get you know shit or yeah. whatever it's just like you know this shit is not as good as chocolate no, I mean that reminds me of uh, Girls That Are Jungle Hot that's true so you know that's you're true. out in the jungle you're out in the jungle for a month and then you see a girl you're like that is the hottest girl I've that, ever seen that, that person does not have a penis it's right just like, exactly <laughs> meanwhile had you uh, slept with Angelina Jolie the night before and you see this toothless jungle hag and you're like, uh... you'd be like bitch get out of my bedroom <laughs> <laughs> Get out of my tree side. <laughs> and I think that's it. I think that if there was no other game and you hadn't played anything, and maybe mm. if you even hadn't played Infamous, maybe this would be a, a, a decent rental. Yeah, okay. Right? But for me, it's just like... Interesting. It, 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 it just it bothered me. All right. So many things about this game bothered me, so... I thought it was a thumbs-up rental. I wouldn't say it's a buy because of all the things we talked about, but mm. apparently if you were wired up like Yuzo, it will reach into your soul and yeah. just like flick the top of its cock. <laughs> 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 See? That's a, you're like, I dick? Like that. Why did you do that? That's terribly mean. The weird thing is that the reviews are actually pretty positive for, for them. Oh, really? So I think maybe it's just me. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, you know, it, it could be. Like, it, it's definitely not a great game. No. It's, I, yeah, it's, I, I get it's, I it's a middling game. It's an A to double A yeah. decent game, like yeah. a C. Uh, maybe if, you, if we gave letters, but we're not going but to. But we don't. We don't. Uh, so next up is Velvet Assassin, mm. which you played and I did not. Why did you? Man, you, you, avo- you avoided this perfect, perfect game that, oh, man. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. So you, know this, why, you know exactly why I avoided it, too. Uh, I seriously was in a Hollywood video, and I read the back of the box, and like that was it. It's like, it's awesome. You just go around and sneak a lot. I was like, wow. Back on the shelf. <laughs> hey, there's some good sneaking games out there. Yeah. Um, Thief. Thief was a good sneaking game. Thief was okay. Yeah, that's um, true. Thief was all right. 
uh, for Splinter Cell, maybe. But anyhow, yeah. like, uh, so this is this is truly a sneaking game because yeah. the moment you come out, they kill you, you die. But it's, the weird thing is, like, the story is you are this spy or whatever, this you know assassin, assassin during um, a female assassin, like yeah. whatever uh, during World War II, obviously because you know that hasn't been done enough. Right. And <laughs> I was just hoping we could get another World I War know. II game. I was it's like, like, if like, only. Yeah, they have been tapering off, so no you know, one we, covers we, that war. <laughs> It's just like, you know, you're fighting Nazis, you know. Yeah. Oh, dude, and yeah, there's another one. There's another open world one that's uh, very infamous. Did you see that? No. At E3, it's sab- The Saboteur. No. Yeah, so it's just that. You're like sabotaging shit? Yeah, you're, you're in World War II, you're sabotaging shit, and you're, you're climbing on buildings, and you're climbing up to the top. Looking at them, I'm like, infamous looked a lot better. Yeah. It's all black and white. Oh, weird. Is it on yeah. the Wii? I know, it's on PS3. PS3 and uh, 360, actually. Next gen color palette. Well, they say it's, it's the, what, what is it? The Will to Fight. And mm-hmm. as you, you know, basically free France, and yeah. then it turns colorful. Well, I mean, a lot yeah, of people but, don't know this, but uh, colors were not invented until the oh, late 50s. C- wait, CinemaScope, right? Yeah, but I mean, like, like, like but I mean, no, I mean, like, the world wasn't in color yet. Is I what I, yeah, I mean, it's just like, back in the 40s, everybody just lived in black and white. I mean, we've only recently invented color. Yeah, I mean, with Cary Grant, like, they had no color makeup. It was all just shades of gray. Yeah, they, just, know, they had to go up. back and, and colorize all this shit, because we just, we discovered color. I know, it's we just found ridiculous. It. Our eyes, you know, evolved. Yeah, that's right. Uh, but anyhow, so, so Velvet Assassin, set in World War II, uh, and uh, you are, you know, an assassin, you're in your death, not a deathbed, you're in a hospital bed okay. and you're remembering all of the, your adventures so like assassin's sort of, creed like kind of yeah plugging basic, into basically a, yeah so you, you're doing the assassin's creed so that's the conceit right it's just like eh whatever right so you, you obviously survive i know <laughs> <laughs> but, but it takes the takes, it takes some of the, the but you the, don't because you can you can fail a mission yeah but and the conceit mm. is like right okay you're, you're you know you're fighting you're playing so you know you're killing people and all that shit and like you say you come up to like a, this, this this hard nazi that you know looks at you and then yeah. he's going to kill you if you do that you can hit morphine mode and, and basically hit yourself with morphine, and for some odd reason, you go from, like, this normal, like, you know, assassin-looking girl yeah. to being in a nighty. A what? A nighty. In a nighty. In a nighty. In a negligee, <laughs> which I believe is your hospital uniform, of course. You rip all your clothes off. And then everything gets slow, and uh-huh. you can kill people at will. And you can pick up morphine in your memories to use morphine. What? See, what? in real life, if you take morphine, you get slow, and everybody else beats the <laughs> shit out of you. But that's not how it works in, in, in this. I've seen dudes on morphine. Life. People on morphine are just like, wow, that's really great that my broken leg doesn't hurt anymore. I'm going to go sleep now. In this one, it, it's it better than differently. pollen. Pollen? Wasn't that one game? It's pollen. Uh, there was that one game where everything was yellow, and like you could do some weird like pollen. Oh, haze. 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 That's right. You're fucking sniffing. Is it like you're sniffing honey or something? Yeah, you're like <laughs> sniffing bee asshole. <laughs> And then suddenly you're just all jacked up because you're a bee- beavert. And basically you can slow everything down and you can yeah. kill everybody. So that, but that's the conceit okay, of so this. Okay, that's the, that's the, so what's it like? So it's, is just, it fun? it's just stealth and it's just not – I mean seriously, you go up to the thing, you look at some guy, you watch his pattern moving and it takes like a few minutes to walk his entire pattern. Yeah, yeah. You wait till his pattern is appropriate where you can run to the next spot and then watch his pattern, go to the next spot, get mm. him, slice his throat. And then ad nauseum, rinse and repeat. So it's like those. It's like uh, in in uh, Metal Gear Solid Two, for example, they would have not the full yeah. game, but you would have in the in this options menu, you'd have all these little yes. mini yeah, missions. The virtual, all the virtual those shit. Where basically of, the whole thing is, it's just like you watch the pattern yeah. and you figure out how to kind of. This was kind of fun, though. It was kind of fun. Yeah, it was right. That, yeah. But this is this is not <laughs> because okay. it's it's the full game, and this is really all that you really have mm, to do. Yeah. And granted, I only played for about half an hour, but it's like after a while, it's just like wow, I just did the same old shit five or six times already. It wasn't so I'm, fun. And I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm done with it. And like, I had two games, right? I had I rented both, and I was like, okay, Terminator. And Velvet Assassin. I heard both of them kind of sucked, and I'm like, "Wait, you have Terminator? I, I, I don't get, see that on our list no. this week." No, and here's why. Right? I said two. I'm like, I'm looking at. It, I'm like, oh, fuck, <laughs> fuck. And I grab Velvet Assassin. Like, all right, I'll stick it in. And yeah. like three minutes of pain, and I'm like, "Fuck you, Terminator. You're going back." Wow. Because I heard, I heard it was really bad. So. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. So big thumbs down. I don't want to talk that much about it because like I'm done with World War Two. Yeah. Oh, one game that I will play though. What's that? Battlefield 1943. Okay. It's on XBLA, but remember about I don't remember remember if you remember Battlefield 1942. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Remember the old one where they had Wake Island and yeah. all that. So now it's 43, but they redid everything, and now it's an, it's an Xbox Live game. Oh, that okay. could be fun. That so cool. I'm kind of excited about that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, not Saboteur. Not there's a bunch of World War II games coming. I just out still, I don't dude. care. Like there's 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 a lot of these things where right now I'm burned out on World War II and mm-hmm. zombies. Yeah, I'm just not feeling it. Like, give me some time. Give me some time to get over them. But dude, you have Left 4 Dead 2 coming out. You have Burn Zombie Burn. You have yeah. well, Plants vs Zombies was really good though. Yeah, Plants vs Zombies that's is different. That, that's different. And that, plants. 
I, I guess I can't. Tell. Well, because the zombies could have been anything. Like they were, they were done yeah. cutesy. It wasn't. It wasn't like some like. Rah. But yeah, I mean, what do, what do you think the next like big theme that's going to be overplayed is? I mean, seriously, <sighs> after zombies and and Nazis, um, mid- midgets, midgets, <laughs> the ghosts of dead pirates, clowns, <laughs> clowns. <laughs> Richard Nixon. Nixon. Yeah. He should be a... That's the next game. Nixon Assassin 2. Yes. Hey, let's uh, let's swap the next two just because I already talked about it. Sure. All right. So next up, Uncharted 2. Multiplayer beta among thieves. Yes. Um, So so I got the the beta with Infamous. Yeah. What? I got raped. I got raped because fuck Game Crazy. That's why. (laughs) Because I went and I bought Infamous from Game Crazy. I shit you not on the wall. They said comes with beta key uh, for Uncharted 2 mm-hmm. multiplayer demo star. Yeah. On selected boxes. Uh, you didn't get a selected box. No, when I went there to pick it up, I was like, I'm, I'm, you know, it says yeah. on selected box. I'm like, is this a selected box? They're like the guys that worked there, they had no fucking clue, and they're yeah. just like, I don't know. Uh, why don't you open it up? I, I said, can I return it while I open it? They're like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Dick. It got you. Yeah. So I mean, totally I, you. I was. I, so finally, I just. Because they have it. stickers on it. So yeah. I'm well, sure but you... I didn't know that because I, uh... I didn't. I didn't have anything to compare it to. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, fuck game crazy. I was just trying to not go to GameStop. <laughs> I was just trying to go somewhere else, and everybody rapes you on games. And you got fucked. Because like, the thing is, when I went to GameStop, which we hate, but yeah. you know, it's just like they had both the uh, Infamous demo as well as uh, Gigawatt Blades on Infamous. The, weapon, yeah. the new weapons. You didn't even get that, did you? I didn't get that. I didn't get shit. Oh, it's too I bad. didn't get shit. They gave me, they, you know what they gave me in Infamous? They gave me cream pie. Mm. Just go. Yeah, right, right, it. right. It doesn't face. even hurt people. I don't know. Yeah. It just makes them mad. I don't really? even. I don't know why they. That even... would be a good. I think that would be an awesome good, <laughs> like, good weapon. Yeah. This well, is well. like here you go. You're not going to damage anybody. <laughs> so, uh, um, yeah. So I mean, you know, this is another one of those reasons why I cannot wait for full game downloads, where it's just mm. like I hate these guys. All these game fucking stores. So you're totally going to do it. You're actually going to buy the games for like sixty bucks. Probably. I bet. I, I think bet so too. The I think is I what they'll start doing is they'll start offering really because they really want you to pay full price when they. Don't have to do any packaging. They don't know, have to do any. So they're gonna, they're, they'll, they'll probably offer really cool add-ons like this. They'll probably oh, offer way more beta codes. What? Offer because it costs them nothing. Yeah, right? well, they can't. The thing is, they can't piss off the retailers too much. They can't obviously make it cheaper than retail, mm. and they can't offer it earlier. For so, now, for now, yeah. For well, now, they still sell a ton yeah. of games at retail. Yeah. But anyhow, let's talk about Uncharted Two. Amongst yes, them. Uncharted Two. So I have been basically sitting. I have had an erection yes. for about a year and a half now. That's uh, that's very unhealthy. On the back of the box, it said I should call a doctor if it was more than four hours, <laughs> and it's been a year and a half. So uh, For this game. For Uncharted 2, son. Uncharted 2, this is the multiplayer beta. You're yeah. not a big multiplayer fan. I Honestly, I was seriously going to skip this. Are you serious? You're like, not even bother. Until you told me there was co-op. Yes. But it's not co-op through the game. No. That we noticed. We found out. So yeah. there's two modes. There's multiplayer, which we played a little bit of. Yep. Uh, how do you, how, what do you think about it? It's okay. Yeah, it, was, it wasn't bad. Like For me, the multiplayer bits of it reminded me a little too much of Gears. I don't mm-hmm. like Gears because it's really reliant on cover, mm-hmm. right? Where you're doing, and you're doing a lot of blind firing and shit like that, and it takes a million bullets to kill somebody, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Unless you have like a special weapon. So like those two things, just like, eh, it felt pretty good. The fact that you can climb on shit yeah, no, and it, run on top of people, I, that I, was kind of I, I could tell. But, it was like one of those things where I basically was playing the multiplayer shit just to get a preview of how awesome the game's going to be. I'm like, mm-hmm. oh, cool, I can come up these walls, I can yeah. jump over these signs, I can do this stuff. Like, I didn't come to the show for that, right? You know, it's just like one of these things you go, there's like a shitty opening band, you know, like <laughs> Tears for Fears, and you're just like, dude, I want to see David Bowie. And it's just yeah. like, the multiplayer is not what people are coming to Uncharted for. They're just throwing this in mm-hmm. so that people don't feel like they bought a game that has only single player. It's and almost a checkbox no, yeah, for, for a lot of things done. at this point. It's like, okay, fine, we've got to do it. But yeah, yeah. you're right. This is not going to be the game which you're going to do that. It's going to be no. single player. But they do have a co-op mode. Yes. So how does that work? So that was, uh, was kind of cool. So it was... We hop into a, a room. We were going to play with Locke, but he wasn't available. Mm-hmm. So you and I hop in a room, but the maps have to be three-player. Yes. Three-player co-op, which is really Very weird number. Interesting. But it's you, uh, Tully... And some girl. Th- and some girl. Yes. It's uh, not it's, the girl it's, from the first one. No, but it's the dude from the first one. Yes. Wait, no. Nathan. I thought he de- pra- betrayed you. Now I can't remember the plot. He betrayed you, and then now you're friends with him again? Oh, I don't what know. What the fuck? All right, I need Dude, to go back. I thought you were an Uncharted fanboy. I thought you were. I, 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 I just realized I've got like this gaping hole in my. No, they held him hostage. Fuck. All right, I need, a, I need to go look. Okay, I'm yeah. just spoiling the show, the game. And then the Nazis came, <laughs> and then Aerith died. So, <laughs> so I need to go look at my Uncharted yeah. lore because I just realized I sound like an asshole. But, but there's three people. Three there's, people. There's, there's Nathan. There's a chick who yep. I don't remember from the first one. No. Um, and then um, the guy. Yeah. Guy. So, uh, so you hop in a in a, um, a lobby. They yep. match you with a third dude, some random dude that didn't have a microphone. So we were just talking. He wasn't talking. Yeah, we were making fun of him. Yeah. Yeah. He, he didn't respond back. Yeah. 
We're just like, that guy sucks. Don't you wish you could say something, douchebag? You know, it's just, just like, like, stop dying. Next time you do that, I'm not going to save you. you know, like, <laughs> so you hop um, in, and uh, the, basically Nathan Drake is just like, hey, we got to get over there, and you all start kind of running off together. And you get guys coming at you from everywhere. Like Cause, crazy. Because you would go into an area and pretty much be locked off, and then there'd be like four or five different entry points where just yeah. guys would just be pouring out. You go kill them. You pick up weapons. You kill them. You kill them. And then you do this co-op thing. Yeah. Right? So it's like you find this little area where there's three little heads. You go there. You all hold down the button. So it's like it's not really puzzle solving. No. It's, it's z- like – It is not, – not, not really is even still <laughs> overstating it. It there's is no not puzzle, puzzle solving. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's not puzzle solving. It's no. everybody get to this area, push one button. Right. And then everybody lifts up a bookcase. Yeah. We did that like twice. Yeah. So yet again, this is another feature that like I thought might have been kind of cool. Yeah. It was enjoyable because the combat was very fun. Like was I had he? a really good time uh, doing the co-op stuff. But yet again, very tacked on. Yeah, it did feel really, because the thing is, like, everything, everywhere I went, I was in a box and I was killing dudes. So it felt yeah. a little bit like Horde, but not as fun. Yeah, it was totally I mean, like Horde. You're right. Yeah. I mean, that's exactly what it felt like. It was just Horde on gears, yeah. except, yeah, not as good. But And, you know, you do that, you, you go through it. I think they make it harder. You can do, yeah. you know, obviously different, you know, difficulty levels, so on and so forth. So the, 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 the few parts of it that I thought were really interesting is, yet again, where I'm trying to look through the lens and see what the single player is going to be like. So there's this part where you had to boost me up onto a building. Yes. And I was hopping from sign to sign. I was going around the side of a building and, like, doing all this climbing and jumping and shit. That was fun. So do you think the single the single player game will have a co op component then? So we can actually go through the campaign because personally I'm not going to play the multiplayer and I'm not really interested in playing that co op the thing that we played. I'm not either. I mean, so but I want to play single player and it would be kind of fun together. It would be. So right? it's one of these things where the co op could be really fun, but if it was like that, I'm not super interested. I'm hoping that kind of maybe they had something that was more. Mm. I, I think that it's going to be like that. You think so? I think that what's happened ah. is they've made this shining perfect jewel. Of a single player game, yeah. and then someone's like, "Dude, this needs replayability. Just <laughs> needs replayability." We didn't sell enough copies. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just like we need to sell more. So marketing says we need multiplayer, and like, okay, oh fine, yeah. So you know, you gotta get. I guess I get a little credit. I wish they would give us a single player demo. Yes. That's yes. Like, that would be really nice. Give me a Before. single player demo. When is it coming out? November or something? Yeah, it's not until oh, a while. Fuck. So you got some time, Naughty Dog. Give yeah. us, give us a little taste. Yeah. So, you know. The game looks beautiful. The combat feels really nice. Mm. It is f- the frame rate is flawless. Everything looks very good. The multiplayer and co-op stuff. Eh, mm. if, if this was the entire game, I'd be like, rental? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, um, so that's too bad. But, um, you know, whatever, it's free. Give it a shot. Uh, and you can't, can you, you can't get it yet. I think you still can't get it like for free for everybody. Can oh no no no! Yeah, it's not codes. an open beta. You still have to have bought Infamous and gotten. And I think we might have already gotten a hold of codes, and we're probably going to give them out on Twitter. So it's already yeah. probably done. But hey, sign up for the uh, at NoobTube uh, on Twitter. That's where we're giving away a lot of codes. That's right. So, yeah, noob uh, Twitter dot com slash NoobTube. Yes. And if you subscribe to that, we give away free shit. Uh, the more we get, the more we give away. So just right. always follow every time that. we get a hundred followers, we'll we'll give away. Yeah, we'll game. give away some new stuff. <laughs> like the last Twitter thing that I saw that we sent out was which game would you force Tobin to finish? Oh, the answers. Have been pretty funny. One said, yeah. "Wow, <laughs> finish Wow, do it." I can't finish Wow. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, people people want me to finish Rape Play. <laughs> ooh, what's that? It was that it was that game with all the controversy about the sum, the the simulating rape in Japan. You didn't hear oh, about this? Oh wait, I think there was so. this whole controversy about people were banning this game off. They didn't really? want to sell it on Amazon. They wouldn't sell whatever because. Because you actually go and you go and you rape some girls. But dude, that that porn store we went into, like the entire wall was all oh. rape play. Oh, so yeah. like, oh yeah, but but people are always surprised <laughs> when they realize how fucked up Japan is. Yeah. They're like, people are like, what do you mean there's a video game about rape? Is like, bitch, you have never been to Japan. <laughs> dude, there is. That is tame. <laughs> I paid a hundred yen to rape a girl. <laughs> There's vending machines for that shit. Yeah, it's terrible. <laughs> it was terrible. Stop. No, we're going too far. That's okay. not funny. That is um, not funny. Um, but yeah, so like, yeah. like I, I, like you know, oh, what was that other one? You should actually finish Gingerbread Man. No, <laughs> come on. That's like something you'd do if you hated me. <laughs> It's just like Tobin, you know, did something bad. What should he do as punishment? <laughs> Play Ninja Bread Man. Fuck that. Um, so, uh, so next up, you played Sims Three. Sims Three. So um, I did it. I did it. I said I probably wouldn't, but yeah. I did because I don't know. What, did you like Sims One and Two? I wouldn't say like. Yeah. Um, I said. <laughs> what would you say? I would say I played it until I got tired of it. You tolerated Sims. I tolerated it, and like I feel like I need to play it because it seriously, dude, it is the number one selling game series of all time. Yeah, no, it's huge. So if, as far as like video game culture, video game, all that, it's just like you kind of got to know what's going on mm-hmm. to, to me. So I almost felt it like, like homework. You know, Bass Fisher sells really well too. 
I'm not going to play that because <laughs> it doesn't sell as well as The Sims. But The yeah. Sims is just like, okay, Sims 3, I'll give it a try finally. And it's just like, you know what? They made it a little gamier. Oh, really? So that's um, the big problem with the earlier Sims, right? They're just, they're a sim. Well, it's a problem, but you know. Well, they, a problem for us, not for yeah. other people. Other people fucking love it. Well, we get a little tired of it because the, the goals aren't necessarily there. Yeah. Right? So, and it's weird, too, because if you, if you read a lot of the, the game design theory that goes behind The Sims, they actually design The Sims to appeal to, like, three different game, game archetypes. Mm. They do the, the, the designers, the creators, yep. the, the nurturers, and yep. the um, slightly goal-oriented people. But this has always been weak. Yeah. Right? Really, and, yeah. and that's what we are, right? If, if they do that, and they, they're like, okay, let's beef that up a bit. Yeah. Obsessive, compulsive, collector, competitors. Yes. So get this, right? Yeah. Now, it, again, if you don't know Sims, you're basically controlling a guy. You design him, and then you get him a job. Whole you, family. Basically, yeah, whole family. You basically kind of just do it. You tell him to go to the bathroom. You tell him to go wash. You tell him to go eat. You Buy tell him to go talk to Ikea shit. Ikea shit for their house. Go, like, you know, feel up girls, um, sleep with them, marry them. Yeah, you sim, know, all this stuff. Sim, sim sex. Rape lay. <laughs> <laughs> sim, sim try anal. Sim try anal. Yeah. But yeah, so you do all that, and it's just like, okay, this time they're going to add goals. So okay. now there's this little window which shows a little, like, basically a, a goal, uh -huh. and then you can click, and you have four spots. So you can fill up those four spots as those goals. Okay. So one is like, buy a TV worth $250. Uh, Get a job. Uh, increase your skill level in cooking. Okay. So get what do you, you get know, if you do what you get? You get what you call lifetime happiness okay. points. And with the lifetime happiness points, you get perks. So it's basically experience points with for for you know non gamers. So you do that, you get five, you know, you get up to five thousand, you get a perk which makes it so that you can clean faster. So, but no, I'm serious. It's, it's almost RPG. Yeah. Seriously, like another one is just like your bladder is steel. You have the bladder of steel. Wow, this is Progress Quest, the game. But it's kind of gamey. It's okay, kind of so RPG. Did, so did you enjoy yourself? I played it longer than I played the other two. Like the other two, like the thing is, I'll play it for about three or four hours, and, and by the time the whole OCD complex of monitoring the graphs and making sure all of them, you know, are filled, because that's kind of one of the draws of it. Right. He's like, holy shit, like his bladder's full. Yeah. Go, go yeah, do yeah, the bathroom. Yeah, yeah, sure. Oh shit, he's hungry. Go do this. Yeah. And really, the whole game is about time management. Right. Because you only have a certain amount of time. You have to do a job to get money. And the rest of the time, you either have to like take care of yourself, do relationships. Yeah. All it, it, it appeals in the same way that, that uh, Plants vs. Zombies did. I mean, like you're always clicking, right? You're always watching and clicking and readjusting and just kind of like balancing. Like it, it works with the, the nerdy mind. Yeah. You're, you're basically, I mean, like the same way reason you play Cake Mania. Right. Yeah, and Kick Mania is like truly it's, it's a hardcore game. Yeah. Like you know, you make so fun of me. So you say, <laughs> dude? No, no. I've had at least three people make fun of me yeah. for Kick Game, and then they tried. They're like, you were right. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, I couldn't stop playing. Yeah. But, I, anyway, I, I, but so that's the thing. So they made it more gamey. So I'll give them that. But even then, so instead of playing for about four to six hours, I played eight to ten. And then you're done. But at the time, it was just like, yeah, okay, oh, I'm getting close to my lifetime goal. But then all of a sudden, they 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 switch the game over to like, okay, now you got to get money to fill out your house. Uh -huh. And you gotta, you know, decorate it. And basically, you gotta do all this shit. I have no care for. I don't mm. care about buying clothes. I don't care about what my lamp looks like. I care about light because yeah. my my son says he's not happy. Right. Right. But oh, I see what you're saying. So, so once it be, kind of became more about the aesthetics, the nurturing side, yes. the, the collector side. Every single time, I, I always I you lose quit. interest. And I, I mean, I'm right. I'm right there with you. That's exactly like, like when, when you played it. Did you did you like the no, I never liked Sims. Well, no, I so, never... But the, the part about it where you're... The time management part where, you know... You no. Know, oh, really? Even that? No, okay. so, seriously, the only thing I ever do with Sims is I'd play for a little bit because I had an ex-girlfriend that was really into Sims. And yeah. I'd play for a while and I'm like, okay, I get it. Yeah. I'm like, I'm going to fuck with this family. <laughs> I'm going to never <laughs> clean up their shit. I'm never going to let them go to the bathroom. I'm going to light their house on fire. Put them in a room. Take the door away. Oh, dude, yeah. I just... Like, seriously, I probably spent three hours torturing Sims in earlier games. And then I was like, all right, I've, I've had And then you're done. I mean, I, it, it, the, I'm not I'm not a person that plays uh, Animal Crossing. Mm, I'm yeah. not a person that plays Sims. Like that's yeah. is not my type of game. But it's cool that it's cool that they're kind of aiming at a little bit. I, I always wonder bit. more if like the people that really want it to be free form, like nurturing, build mm -hmm. your own thing, are pissed off at the goals. Like I wonder if they feel too constrained. You don't have to do them though, because uh, all they do is you, all they, you can do them, and then yeah. you get just more uh, lifetime experience. But you're okay. always getting so you it anyway. Just skip it. Yeah, okay. exactly. So it's not important. I mean, they made it, and the thing is, it looks really good. They did a really good job. It's very flashy. They have all this fucking video shit in it now, oh. so you can take all these videos, and there's a video editor in it. Oh. So I mean, it's it's pretty as far as like technology is concerned, it's pretty cool. But again, like all the stuff I'm saying, it's still The Sims. Okay, it's still. So I mean, if you love The Sims, you've already bought it. You don't care yeah. what we say. But if you like games that are more like games, maybe you should check it out. Maybe. But you maybe. can't rent it. So yeah, you can't rent it. Uh, uh, so last up is Battle Forge. 
So this game. So I played through the tutorial. You played it. I did. I oh, did. I, I holy shit! It. So holy like shit. last night, I, I I knew that we were down to the wire mm-hmm. on Battle Forge. So I just played the tutorial level, and I wasn't able to play anymore. Okay. So what what do you think? It's pretty cool. What? It's I'm. Holy okay, shit. it's pretty cool. It's still an RTS. Like, okay. I'm not going to play very much. So this is an RTS game that is all based on collectible cards. Yes. So uh, my understanding is right now you can go to battleforge.com and you can download for free. For free, for son. For free. This game is free and it's like very, 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 very high quality. You get two full decks. Yeah. Two full decks and then basically you can play through every single campaign. You can play through every. You can play pretty much play through everything that people have bought the game. Yeah. You can play through. Yeah. Seriously. Very cool. Um, and I've done that, right? You can get Once you get to level four, you can start using the auction house. You can do all sorts of cool shit, right? But the thing is, the RTS is okay. Yeah. Right? It's not anything. To, it's not StarCraft. It's not anything to like really like write home about. But the fact that you have cards. The cards was cool. It was, it was really interesting. Like, like you're kind of, uh-oh. <laughs> Dude. Uh-oh, I see the addiction cropping Dude. up in your brain. Like, you get cards after every <laughs> campaign. You get upgrades. It's like a quest of uh, D. Yes. It's like every, exactly time you, every time you put in money, is. a card comes out. You're like, what the fuck is this card? What the fuck is it? Yeah. Yeah. You get you get four. Yeah. And it's just like, holy crap, this one will upgrade my fucking towers. Yep. And then boop. And then you go to the screen at the end, and you've got this whole oh. thing with all your cards, and you can kind of shuffle them and, and like the pick out which ones you want. But they're very smart. Yeah. You can't actually earn a new card. Oh, really? So all the cards that you earn from the campaigns are all upgrades to existing cards that you have. Um, you can upgrade each card three times. Okay. So it's good because they make you they actually make you uh, go through the campaigns multiple times because each one each campaign has a loot table. Yeah. And you may or may not get the right one. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. You got to trade with people and all that. The but, first the first hits free. Yeah. You so start... you get you get thirty two cards. So that's two. That's where you can make two decks with it. Yeah. That's it. You will never get another card unless you pay real money. Right. So. I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy. Nice. Buy I seriously am, dude. That's you, good. I mean, that that, that it, shows like it's I, fun. It's cool because you're basically doing micropayments because they earned it. Like yeah. they gave you a fully featured full game. Like, Absolutely. Free to play, free to and trade for solid. hours and hours and, and it hours. It doesn't look really good. It is damn good. Um, and like what I heard is like this is really good pedigree. The original, the designer of the Settlers. Yeah. Remember the Settlers, Settlers like a while back. He's yeah. like he's on the team. So it's like a pretty hardcore team for the most part. And honestly, I thought that the, that the way that they did the uh, the construction of the levels was mm-hmm. was great. Like it Wasn't didn't it? feel like so StarCraft. You know that I've always complained about about uh, StarCraft was... and WarCraft is the resource yep. stuff. So this one was a lot more clever. Where it's like once you win an area, you can basically create a new orb. Yeah. And then the orbs let you summon new cards. But that's it. You're not setting up peons to fucking get gold. Yeah. You're not collecting trees. You're not collecting yeah. this and that. As you get more land, you get more resources. You use the resources yeah. to attack You do attack have to people. protect the resources. Too. Sure. That is sure, the other thing. Sure. So yeah, you definitely but get these... micromanage of those resources. Yes. Which is awesome. It's just like as you do well, it expands and if they beat you back, you lose resources. You have to solidify your encampment. You build walls. You build yep. towers. Like... It, it's basic. So you actually like the RTS was, aspect? Yeah, really. Like, so, I, I know that I'm not an RTS guy. I know okay. that I'm not going to play hours and hours of this, yeah. but I know what's a good RTS, hmm. and I know that I can recommend this if you love RTS. Wow. Okay. Because I, I was surprised because I, I thought I would have thought the you know the card aspects and all this other stuff, but like we were talking about all those Japan, Japanese arcade games. This basically makes a virtual version of that, mm-hmm. where I am totally going to go out and spend thirty dollars because yeah. you, you get you get three thousand points with that. Okay. And then buy a bunch of booster packs. Nice. Open them up. Trade them with all you know all my. Oh, friends. you can trade cards? Yeah! I'm telling you, dude. It's That's it's, awesome. It's just so like, are there like chat rooms? Can you just kind of yeah. like go in and... You go in, there's all these people, people you can like, talk I'll, to. People like, I've got this card, I yeah, want this there's, card. There's even gold farmers already. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so it's weird because there's two types of currency in the game. We're gonna, you know, like Basically, you get gold from the, from the campaigns. You have uh-huh. to use gold to um, upgrade your cards. Okay. Every upgrade, right? And the other one's the Battle, battle uh, Forge points, yeah. which uh, you have to pay real money for. So you use Battle Forge points to buy cards in the auction house. Okay, yeah. And you use gold to upgrade. So that's okay. kind of that's sure. two things. But the thing is, like, they've actually got this little sly way now where you can use gold to buy battlefield points and cards if you mail people. So you have to trust them. If you mail you can trade them. by mail. Yeah. So I can mail you 100 gold if provided you mail me the card, but obviously there's no oh, there's, there's no, no mechanism. Okay. So yeah, it's already been built up now yeah. where there's this other thing where you really don't have to pay any money. Interesting. But they, if, you're, they might, if you're savvy they, about it. And they might also end up putting in like a trust a trust mechanism of some sort. I don't order. think they will because they don't want people to do that. They don't want people to play the campaigns over and over again to get gold uh, they don't and buy gold real farmers, cards, sure. yeah, right? Yeah. So, But, but they're, they, they, they're, they're really bending over backwards to say if you're not going to give us money, it's still going to be fun. It's just going to be more fun if you give us some money. And, and it looks like they earned it. Honest dude, the to promise, God. The promise of it, seriously. Yeah. Like I, I was looking at it I'm like, wow, like, I need this other card yeah. or I need this or I need this. And and I mean, the 
enemy, the, the monster animations are phenomenal. You oh, get these big fucking ice monsters with like big claw arms yeah. beating up shit. You get these dragons that you can switch their mode between fuck shit up here or toss fireballs yep. like a like it's a catapult. Siege. It's great. So yeah, so I'm very impressed. So the thing is, like, go try it right now, Battleforge.com. And he- here's the trick: if you actually, because I, I read, I found out that this is what you should do for the best maximize your money. Okay. So you should buy the retail box. You get three thousand points and sixty four cards. Uh huh. Buy two tomes. Each tome is six booster. Pa- I'm telling you, dude. Six, each tome is six booster packs for the price of five. Okay. Right. Yeah. So you you buy that and whatever leftover money you basically fill up your rest of your deck from the auction house. Uh, that's the best way. Spend thirty dollars because the thing is you can buy you can buy two fifty at a time. You can buy ten dollars at a time. Okay. You can buy twenty dollars at a time. Yeah. You can just, but like it's not worth it. You should you should go buy the retail game and enter in the code. So you know what? What? Like uh, for some reason, uh, Jam you know Jam and Slayer yeah, yeah. in the UK he found it for eight bucks in the UK for the thirty dollar version. Yeah. Ooh. So he's gonna buy it and since all it is is a code that I need. Yeah. He's gonna mail me the code. And oh. I just enter it in, and then I'm done. Oh, nice! So, people in the UK, I know we have a lot of KVs. I find out where you can get it for eight bucks. Yeah, figure out where Jam found this like ghetto cheap version. You, you could the, like off the truck. Or people could buy a shitload of them for eight bucks, and then like go to gold farmers and sell that shit back and make money. Absolutely, you can sell like points on eBay. That is hilarious. Woo! Um, so Jam, go do that. That is your new job. Yes, that is your side job. So, <laughs> uh, wow, we went long. So we yes. need to we need to blow through these new yeah, releases. Yeah, these new releases we'll uh, we'll get to them. There's like three Overlord games. Yeah. Uh, so Overlord Two and Overlord Dark Legend are basically a real Overlord game on a real console, PS3 and 360. Yep. And then they did the the weaker. Uh, Waggle. The version. waggle the waggle version on the Wii, but it doesn't look like they totally janked it. Like it looks like they did a decent enough job. I think so, but the thing is like you, you know that if it's another developer or something like that, it's just like eh, you know. Oh, do you think it was a different developer? Do you think really one developer made all three versions? I don't know. I don't know. I mean I, all I'm saying is that like I looked at the videos, Overlord Two looked looked good, Overlord Dark Legend looked good, Overlord Minions oh, it looked like, looked like <laughs> share, it looked like shareware from the eighties. And it's on the DS, so it's supposed to be like some puzzle, you have all these things, it's just like it looked Terrible. Yeah. The thing is, like, does, seriously, does Overlord actually is that big enough of a franchise to deserve three different games? I, it doesn't seem like it to me. But I mean, these days it doesn't matter. They fucking probably put Iron Man on every platform. They like, did. And they're gonna put Transformers. They're gonna put everything. Yeah, they ship there. everything on every platform. I guess now. you got to give them a little credit for not just making a port. Yeah. Of, of all of them and just try to shuffle. They actually try to make a game that. Yeah, you know, I mean, they, the... re- they literally redesigned Overlord to work with the pointer instead of mm-hmm. oh, instead of with a stick. Like they did a lot of stuff with That's pointing, true. which they they actually let you cast spells as the Overlord, and you point at the screen and shoot them and stuff. Oh. I mean, they, they, so it's not as much it's, you know like waving around. Yeah. that would have been a little. Annoying. So I mean, it looks like they they really kind of put their time in. Uh, we'll we'll try it out and we'll let you guys know what we yeah, think. Yeah, I think Overlord Two is going to be the one I'm going to concentrate. on. I think on. so. Too. Yeah, we'll see what that one. Uh, the Conduit is a mm. uh, anticipated FPS on the Wii. Looks pretty good. Looks all right. Uh, we saw it at PAX a while back, and I was looking at it. It looked kind of janky back yes. then. It's about a year ago. Yeah. Uh, now it's actually looking really good. It does. It looks, so, it looks um, pretty good for a Wii game. Yeah. Like Wii FPS. Yeah. Uh, but we'll, we'll, we'll definitely try it out. It looks like it could be kind of fun. Monster Hunter. Freedom Unite. So Monster Hunter is a game. I actually tried it on the PSP. Monster Hunter Portable G, I think it's called. Yeah, I borrowed that from you. Did you actually try it? Did not like it. Uh, it's, Did not like it at all. It's very extreme. Yeah. The thing is, it's almost it feels like EverQuest on a portable device, except paced at like one third the pace of EverQuest. It, seriously, that game crawled. It did. It was really slow. It crawled, uh, but it was very vast. I mean, yeah. the things no, that you can big. get, it's all the all world. the different items. But the the cool thing about it is, there's ad hoc mode where you basically play together, so you party up. Okay, so you're like saying, cool. like me, you, a bunch of other people for our packs. We're like, okay, now we got to take out this dragon. Okay. And then you go through a dungeon all together, and you're yelling, screaming at each other. So it's almost like a portable lounge. Okay, that's, that's cool. Well, that's, that's why cool. it's so popular in Japan. Oh, Do you see why? Yes, it's just like, of course. But it's okay. not that popular here because number nobody one, has they don't. Friends here. Yeah, nobody. <laughs> nobody has PS. Well, I guess they have PSPs, but they don't. They don't play together like they do in Japan. Yeah. In the train, right? Yeah. So. um... I hope they do a Wi-Fi mode. What do they call it? Infrastructure mode? Because that will make this game. If it doesn't, I'm not going to get it. If it does, I will try it. So the Something multiplayer, like the multiplayer uh, dungeon crawling together aspect makes it much more interesting to me. Yeah. Um, um, hopefully with voice chat. So Resident Evil Archives Resident Evil. On the Wii. That, it seriously, it looks like an anagram. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> or a, a palindrome, sorry. A palindrome, yes. It does. It's like Resident Evil Archives Resident Evil. Yes. But, uh, so anyway, they remade Resident Evil 1. Um, Newer it looks graphics, pretty good. It looks Actually, good. Um, looks a little Resident Evil 4-ish, which I think is a plus. 
Yeah. So, not uh, Resident Evil 5. No, not Resident looks Evil 5. Looks more 4, yeah. Looks more 4. Uh, so I will rent it, maybe. I'll probably rent it. There's not much else, right? So Yeah, uh, yeah the rest. Transformers. Revenge um, of the Fallen, the first one. you play, I think you dude, played Transformers it, Dude, Transformers. The first game was terrible. This one looks terrible. Like, there's seriously nothing good about this. And they're shipping... Two of them on the DS like they were Pokemon. <laughs> so you get the, are you going to get the Autobots or the Decepticons? Come on, dude. Neither. Uh, Can you believe that shit? We, we might be able to trade... trade. <laughs> Here's my Bumblebee, dude. Here's Bumblebee. Woo! Give me Starscream. <laughs> yeah, so that would be good. And uh, Fight Night Round 4, I didn't like 3. Nope. It looks really realistic, though. Yeah, it the, looks so realistic. The dudes look like they're big, steroid-ridden balls of plastic. Which probably what they look like in real life. They look all weird. Like, it looks like they're kind of inflated. I know, a little it's weird. Like, but they did, like, apparently they got the tattoos down to the, you know, ink spot. Yeah. They got the freaking, what is it, the pants? Exact. And the muscle spasms or something what? in the ad. They're like muscle jerk <laughs> physics. I don't know if I want they're muscle good. jerk physics. Okay, is that just like punch? <laughs> uh, all right. So, so anyhow, so that's the the upcoming games. Um, so contests. So we got some donations. Yeah, we did. Um, um, thank you very much to Callum, who has actually donated several times in the past. He's kind of a regular donator. Yeah. Uh, you can always go to noobtube.com and donate on the front page, and we use all of the proceeds to either buy shit that we give away or pay for hosting, whatever. And then right. we got a big donation. Yeah. So David, thank you very much. We do appreciate um, all of the help, and that will definitely go towards a lot of cool things that we'll be doing. Thank so, you. You guys sure. keep us on the air, and you guys keep it so we don't have to pay for all this stuff out of our own pocket. Right. Which hey, keep us in HD. You keep Keep us in HD. You guys did this. That's why the video is so see high this quality. Pimple? This pimple's for you. Oh, totally. You can see right up my nose to my boogas. Ew. Oh, I got some danglers. Oh, stop. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then... Um, um, so, oh, shirts. shirts. So, so this is the grunge red design. It's fucking cool, man. I don't know if you... I, oh, yeah, you guys can totally see that. Oh, you got to be able to see it HD, right bitches. So, yeah, so thank you, Tall Chick, for designing these awesome shirts. They look so good. They oh. look really, really good. So, sh- so we've, we've had people, uh, Tall Chick designed some shirts. We got Luigi done, designing some shirts. That's right. We're going to hopefully put up uh, his new design that right. we're going to be releasing. Hopefully, by the time you see this, you will actually go to, be able to go to Zazzle right now. Yep. Go to the front page. Go on the right box. Click it. Yep. So go uh, yeah, right on the front page of NoobTube.com. We've got our, all of our shirts there. And then as you guys design new stuff, we'll put it on shirts. We'll put it up there. And we're not taking a bunch of profit. We're basically just trying to get the shirts out there yes. to find out which ones people like. And we'll print out of a bunch of them for packs. Yes. So just please go buy some shirts, support some NoobTube action. Yes. And thank you, Luigi, for NoobTube math, that awesome little uh, pick there. Thank you, Luigi. Cool. So uh, each week we like to feature the NoobTube army on the show. If you have a burning question, funny story, or anything, uh, give us a call. Yep. And you can contact us toll free at 888-233-8480. Um, also, send your files, which is a, a movie or an audio file, to feedback at NoobTube.com. Also, you can post them as video responses on YouTube, and we'll approve them. Yes. And please keep them under a minute if you want to be featured on the show, and no copyrighted music. No you know copyrighted you Music. We cannot play no. your music. We're and gonna get taken off YouTube. Yes, that would be bad. Yeah, um, and don't forget the yow. No. So first up is Little G, like Little Mac. Little Mac's got a question. Hey, YouTube. This is Little G, and that's Little G with PH. I've got to ask you a question. Um, when you were in high school, was video games a big deal in y'all's whole school, or were y'all like just the only two nerds playing them? Because the video games in my school is like everyone plays and we even have competitions held at our school sponsored by our GameStop. Another reason why GameStop kicks ass. So I'm just asking y'all, were y'all made fun of for playing games or were y'all considered guys? So, um, love the show. See y'all later. Yow. You guys' lives are so much better than ours were. So we were, um, I was a nerd. I was a big nerd. I was a huge nerd. Um, Still am. Yes. But, um, yeah, so I think uh, I knew one other person I could talk to video games with. One. Yeah. And we, we would be like, you know, we basically go and we play like Wolfenstein, you know, do all that stuff. But it's like, seriously, like one. So when I was, when I grew up, I moved. So I used to live in uh, San Diego. And mm-hmm. when I was in San Diego, I had a couple friends that would play like Nintendo. We'd yeah. play some Super Nintendo, whatever. I moved to Maryland. Mm-hmm. I didn't know any gamers. I didn't know oh, any gamers man. at all except my brother. So we'd sit in the basement like, seriously, at well, school, cool. I would play, I, would, I was in theater. Yeah, I was a big old, big old nerd. Uh, I played video games, and I went home, and I would basically either play video games or I'd call BBSs. That's exactly what I did. Dude, if I was in Maryland, or if you were in We would have been first, best oh, friends. That would have been awesome. Uh, but no. No. Games were not big, and the fact that you guys have game competitions sponsored by GameStop, that yes. breaks my heart. Yeah. We were... But it's awesome for you. That's cool. 
Yeah, and I'm and I'm glad that you know it's just like you know I think some of that built character back in the day when we sure. were in high school, you know, so you know all that adversity of getting picked on because I didn't get really picked on for playing games. I think it was just no. being a nerd in general. Um, yeah, yeah. Meh. We showed them. <laughs> yeah, we have a podcast. <laughs> I have a, t- I have a <laughs> podcast. <laughs> Fuck you, jocks. <laughs> That's right. You don't know how many. Do you know how many teenage boys watch us every week? <laughs> Fuck you! (laughs) Yeah, we showed them. (laughs) We showed them. Who's next? Uh, So next up is Mr. Leet with uh, a uh, question for us. Um, Mr. Leet? Are you... Mr. Leet! Actually, why can't... Oh, here we go. All right, Mr. Leet. Hey, YouTube. This is um, Mr. Leet from the forums and on uh, on YouTube. (laughs) Uh, Quick question. What do you guys think is going to be the future of gaming? I mean... Right now, you have so many amazing graphical games on the PS3 and the 360, and obviously you have motion sensors on the Wii. What do you think is really going to be like the next phase of console gaming? I mean, do you think eventually there's going to be something that you won't even need a television? You know what I mean, like some kind of crazy holographic shit that comes out of a fucking table that you like have in your living room. Like, what do you think is possibly next for the gaming generation, other than arcade gaming and con- like, and as far as consoles? Do you think, you know, how far can I take it? What are your ideas on it? Yeah. Future of gaming. So let's let's give a little time horizon. I think the next three years is pretty easy to predict. Three years is three years is relatively easy. Three years from now, we'll probably have the announcement at least of the next Sony, Nintendo, and Microsoft yeah. Oh, they're console. not definitely not before that. No, I, not I, before that. I mean, they're going to oh, milk maybe. this. Maybe new Wii potentially, maybe. right? Maybe, An HD yeah. Wii. But oh uh, yeah, so next three years is going to be pretty pretty much par for the course. You're going to have a lot of motion shit and all that. But let's talk about five to ten years. Yeah, let's go out farther. Um, let's see. I would say a big one is going to be alternative. Uh, alternative. I guess, me- mechanisms or something like that. So okay. what I'm talking about is like, remember that, that awesome missile command thing? Yes, that like we the had? Touch, touching yeah, screens. Yeah, and, stuff, and I think yeah. uh, like with Microsoft Surface and all those other things where you're doing that, right. I think that's going to be big where also now you have game tables, mm. right? And it's going to be more family oriented. And I think, right. I think it'll network potentially. I think that could happen, right? Yeah. It's going to be more, much more, uh, what is it, uh, approachable for casual players. Yeah. Well, that's the thing is, is I, I honestly wouldn't have predicted the rise of casual gaming being as strong as it oh, is. No, not because at all. Because it's big enough now. Like, the Wii is big enough now that they might start kind of moving games back into public spaces. There might be, uh, hmm, I you know, see that. for a while, they, they started, a couple of years ago, they, this, this died out. But, like, for example, they would have uh, uh, restaurants that you'd have a touch screen. And then you could order food. Oh, but like then, you wink? Like you wink. <laughs> Which totally sucked. Oh, it was terrible. But, but yeah. going forward, there could be like a place for families to go, and and the, and everybody mm. could get around around kind of a Microsoft uh, Surface. Yeah. Or whatever. everyone in the in the in the restaurant plays games against each other or trivia games against each other. There could even be like kind of a Chuck E. Cheese style thing where there's like a oh, stage. People come yeah. up and do like a Natal sort of dance around in front huh. of a camera. Like I'm wondering about it moving back into public spaces a like, little bit, like almost reality show gaming, yeah, kind of like right. Yeah, like, like, you're starting to see it now with the prime. Time with the Xbox Prime Time with the one versus one hundred. Yes. So all of a sudden the gaming experience is no longer something you put a disc in, mm-hmm. but you go at a scheduled time. Actually, we need to review we that. Need to try that. We need, we need to try, to try that because people are saying good things fun. about it. Yeah. And uh, also, I think uh, Sony's working on one with Buzz. Okay. So I think the, the, so like, I, I think you're right. I think we're going to have a lot more. I, I don't know if you're going to go to a destination necessarily because yeah. I think the destination is played out. I don't think there's going to be another Chuck E. Cheese style thing in a, for a while. Yeah. Right? Uh, but anything in the home where you're going to be able to make that happen with with um, with video cameras showing people, and all of a sudden you're watching either TV and you're seeing a bunch of people, you know, that kind of yeah. shit. So I, 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 think totally. that, I think that this, this idea of, of, of uh, making it so that you don't necessarily have huh. to involve controllers and stuff could yeah. really open up gaming where it's just like if gaming is you standing in front of your TV with your kids – that yeah. could be huge. I mean, like, they could do a oh. lot of stuff where it's just, like, get higher and higher res cameras. Yeah. They can really see what you're doing. They can see what you're saying, see what you're gesturing. It's like a, it's like a many-to-many gaming. That's, that's, it's kind yeah. of, right? It's like, because you're, like, families against families, or yeah. right? And well, because, I mean, if you, if you noticed, you know, for example, in the Sony presentation, mm-hmm. when they would capture the video of the guy and he had the controller in his hand, yeah. you know, why not make an MMO where you can see other people wandering around the world because their video being, they're being captured or, or trivia games where there's a bunch of people sitting behind buzzers and it's the video of them. Sure. So, I mean, you know, as we kind of move forward where you've got high enough bandwidth that you can video the people that you're playing with. You can have multiple streams. Yeah. You could have your huh. face, your body running around in a suit of armor. You can change armor like an MMO. I mean, like, 
we're getting crazy shit coming down the line, possibly. Possibly. I say five, five to ten years. So, uh, so what about 20 years? <sighs> oh, I don't even, it, dude, I don't even know. Jack, do you that's think? What it, oh, yeah. Hell yeah. 20 years? I'm dreaming of right it. Right here, but, dude. Jack, yeah. or, some, or at some point, they will really get something goggles. where, well, not just goggles. It'll be just like right into your retina. Uh, so yeah. all of a sudden, like, basically, like, so I, I say maybe even 10 to 15 years for that. Where you, and, like, they can, they can kind of scan the movements of your eye and change stuff oh, like, yeah, really absolutely. quickly. Well, they already, they already have experimental, so I think within 10 years, it'll be productized, and all yeah. of a sudden, it's true virtual reality. So hell yeah, but I want the, I want this. Oh, I've been wanting the jack so- forever. Oh, man. You know what I want to do? I want to like I want to have the the they actually in in uh, Neuromancer so they actually called the Microsofts, which is yeah. funny. But I just want it to be like like I'll learn how to That's play right. piano, but I don't want to do the work. Quick. Boom, kind of just like all right, I'm gonna play you know some some Joplin now. It's just, wow, that's so funny because the thing is, you know, if you think about it, it's just like 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 Gibson didn't even think about wireless. Because by this point, it's yeah, seriously, why would we'll you be like, yeah. <laughs> you're just going to have this little antenna going out and you just beam it down. And you're going to get a virus Ooh. and your fucking head is going to explode and your eye is going to blow out. And then you're going to turn into a spam bot mm. and you're going to walk around offering people. Buy just like, Viagra. Yeah. Give me $100. I'll suck your dick. <laughs> wait, wait, what? <laughs> ah, I wish I wasn't doing this. Oh, stop. God. I can't stop. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so that that is the the near future. That is the that is the that is the bright future of humanity. <laughs> oh. Remote controlled cocksuckers. Yes, against your will. <laughs> uh, so Crimson has a little bit of information for us. Hmm. Hey guys, this is Crimson from the forums. I was just calling to let you guys know that Miyamoto confirmed that that his new Super Mario's Wii will not have online multiplayer. And he also said that, that it will be the first game on the Wii to feature to feature demo play where players will be able to pause the game, let the game complete the level for them, and then resume play at any time by unpausing. What do you guys think of this? And how do you think it affects how casual gamers play? Do you think it's good, bad, whatever? Uh, thanks for doing the show. Yow. Wait, wait, did I hear that right? You hit pause and it just plays the game for you? Yeah. Like Left 4 Dead. That's different. That's <laughs> way different. No, Left 4 Dead is you, you get away and all of a sudden AI takes over for you so yeah. everybody else can keep doing it. But it sounds to me like you could be playing by yourself, you hit pause, and it will finish the game for you. I'm thinking it's more like you got... That's bullshit. <laughs> well, that would be bullshit. That would be... I mean, that's ridiculous. That would be like more casual than casual. But I mean, like, I'm thinking it's more like you got four huh. buddies over, somebody's like, I'm going to go make a sandwich, and he, he hits pause, and... His Luigi just keeps going, and you guys just kind of do whatever. I'm cool you want. with that. That's, that is that's, that's really awesome. But the yeah. other thing, bullshit. Like fuck that. That would be insane. Actually, you know what that would be like? That would be like I don't know, setting a sports game on exhibition mode so you can get gamer points. <laughs> we just like that. Who would do that? Who would have a thousand points in EA Sports 2006? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> don't make them go look at my gamer score. It's embarrassing. Um, so, but, but the yeah. other thing is, you were right. What about Mario Online? You were right. Yeah, dude, told you. This is Nintendo. Come on. That's bullshit. They have. Why don't they just take out the networking code from fucking Super Smash Brothers and drop it in this game and be like, it's not that goddamn hard to do. It's not like Quake when you're running around in 3D <laughs> shooting bullets. You're a dude that's like, beep, 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 beep. You can do this. It's 2009. I agree, but fucking it's Nintendo. Nintendo. Come on, dude. It's Nintendo. Fucking Nintendo. So yeah. now Super Mar- new Super Mario Brothers is less interesting to us. I'm because- still going to play the single player. Oh, I'm totally going to Come play on. it. I'm going to play it. But I mean, like, how cool would it have been? You get four new tubers. <sighs> yeah. Everybody plays through these levels together. That is so cool. So those of you that, that, that bring a bunch of friends over, you guys play the Wii together, that's going to be really fun. It'll be- and the thing is, a lot, especially with a lot of new tubers, they probably have brothers and sisters. They're sure. probably in dorms. So you guys are lucky. Sure, yeah. Yeah. Well, I, uh, need, I need to create my own gamers. Hm. Yes. Wait. <laughs> At some point. <laughs> yes. Um, and then last up, we'll do this one real quick. Sure. So uh, B, B True K has a little discovery K. for us. All right. Hey, Tobin Yuzo. It's B True K, not B Two K, as previously said. But I, fa- well, I was walking around Fallout Three in the wastelands, just hanging out, and I come to this door. What does this door have inside of it? I was wondering myself. So I opened it up, and I found a big fuck you. And I thought it was freaking hilarious, so I just decided to take a few, a couple pictures and make a, a short little video for you guys. And I hope you guys got a kick out of it just as much as I did. Yow, not yob. Wow. Oh, 
I wonder if that was really in the game or if that was a mod. I think it was really in the game. I mean, like the the, the developers at, at Fallout are, are at Bethesda yeah. are really pretty funny. Like those, like I actually know a girl that works at Bethesda, and she's got a really quirky kind of gothy sense of humor. Mm. And it sounds like all of them do. Like they just kind of have a lot of fun with putting detail after detail after detail. Oh, in this world. and with Fallout, it's just like seriously, there are so many stones, so yeah. many little areas where you can basically hide these Easter eggs. I and mean, the funny ridiculous. thing about that is they can kind of play it off. They're like, oh yeah, it's out in the wasteland. Some yeah. punk ass dude went there with spray paint and just put some shit in there. Totally. So it's, but it, thanks you, for saying that. That's funny. <laughs> you know it was a model of going, <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. You just kind of snuck it in. Did you know yeah. there's no way people could review all the shit they put in those oh, games no. either? So thanks for sending that video and that's really funny. Yes. Uh, and if you find more Easter eggs in games, please send us videos. We think that we love that stuff. It's I'd never seen that before. Mm. So that's our show for the week. Woo! Check out our website at newtube.com and participate in the forums by clicking the community tab at the top of the front page. Yes, and if you're watching this video on YouTube, be sure to click on the subscription button right over there. We're almost at 16,000 at this point. Yeah. And uh, also read the video by uh, fucking Tobin's junk as much as you can five times. Wow. Yeah. That is... No? no, no. I'm sure, I guess. <laughs> you can open my junk door and it says, Fuck you! <laughs> Five stars. <laughs> all right, uh, that's all this episode. I'll see you next week. And I'm Tobin Kozire. Audio engineering for NoobTube is done by Range Dark Overlord yeah. Strong Claw. Thanks for listening. We'll see you next week. We're out! Yeah. Uh, Velvet Assassin and Battleforge. Battleforge. I will usually include Overlord 2, Overlord Dark Legend, Overlord Minions, and Overlord Overlord. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, enough already, please. Plus the condo.